Today we're going to look at pattern recognition in Google Earth um, and we use as an example the military bases of Kazakhstan. But before we do that, I would like to thank all my subscribers. So what are we doing when we look for military bases? Well, basically we are always looking for the same thing. And please note this square here. We have some military people outside uh, military base and then for the rest we just use logic geography some history and other patterns um, we know that in this town there is a military base now logically speaking you would put it on the outskirts of town here potentially here why because you don't want to have tanks running in the middle of your shopping street it doesn't make sense so one doesn't have to look there one doesn't have to look there, one can just look at the outskirts. Um, here we have the same picture, just a bit closer up. Now, these are houses, we can see that these are houses. Here we have a potential interesting area. What we notice is that this is a square that has nice new roofs, um, but it could also be here. This could definitely be a military area. Then we look at geography and history. Um, this is Mongolia, and here we have China and Kyrgyzstan. Um, because Kazakhstan was part of uh, the Soviet Union, pretty much all bases are at the border with the enemy. Uh, way back they regarded China as an enemy, and therefore most of the bases are here. And then we have some here by the other border. We have Azerbaijan on this side. Um, it doesn't make sense to put them all here in the middle because you would like them to be close to your enemy. Then we look at typical patterns for uh, bases and most military bases have nice new roofs. They're not always blue, sometimes they're red, um, but they're new. And they have these white squares. You remember the first picture where we saw some soldiers standing? Well. They were standing on these white squares. When we look at ammunition storage, um, typically what we look for is a place where there is no people far out of town with sand balls around it. And again, logic, if it explodes, you don't want the explosion to go everywhere. You would like to contain it. And here is another one. And we have the same picture here, but now we have a side picture. So here you can see the sand walls and otherwise fences there is a guard post sometimes you have to go back in time because google uh, earth only flies over uh, once every so often so on the right picture we have a military base but we can't see much but then if we go a little bit back in time we can actually see lots of tanks and other military vehicles so Using these uh, tricks and knowledge, it is relatively easy to find lots of military bases. Now, I will go over to Google Earth and show you here we have a military base, show you how it works. You see nice new roofs. Well, let's just start somewhere. This is a relatively small base. Um, but what we can see is military vehicles, the white squares, and the nice blue roofs. This is a base, yeah, this is 300 meters, so it's, it's relatively small. Um, but we have all the elements we're looking for. And, and these are all your storage units. When we take the next base... And this is a base in the middle of town. Um, this is a uh, bit of a contradiction because I just told you that most of them are outside town. This one is special. This is the only one I could find that actually was in town. It does, however, have a few of the elements we're looking for. We have the white squares here. It's not so clear in this picture. Let's, let's see if that's better. We have the white squares, we have the blue roofs, and 
I believe there is some exercise area. Here is an exercise area. And now we go to big base. Um, this is a base that uh, they often use when they have international exercises. Uh, okay, so these are all military vehicles, uh, tanks. Uh, so basically um, there is no doubt this is a base, but we would like to get some confirmation. And I can see here is a picture. Let's click on the picture. Yeah, and there we have a tank. Um, also, typically something they like to do in, in Soviet, uh, former Soviet countries, you have either tanks or, or airplanes outside the base so everybody can see what it is. Um, this is a very big base and there should be a training area close by. We can see tracks here so it's relatively easy to see where they are going. And here is where they train and practice. They drive their big tanks. And I made a photo pin that means there should be a picture from somebody. Yes, here we have confirmation. So now we go to the next base. There are quite a lot of bases. I'm not going to show them all. As always, there is a file uh, under the video um, where you can just go yourself and see all of them. Um, this is the last one I'm going to show. Um, here, the white spots where the soldiers stand and look nice. See if we can find some vehicles. That would be nice. Um, yep, here we have some vehicles. So we have the wide areas, we have the military vehicles, and we have relatively new roofs here. Um, there should be a guard post somewhere. That that is always. Oh, here we have something which we can look at. That is a shooting area so this is about 100 meters so here they can practice shooting well um, I will do uh, some more tutorial videos about how you can recognize things but for now thanks for watching bye